In this video, I'm sharing my weekly weight loss or gain, plus I'm doing some tips on losing weight over 50. If you'd like to see what I came up with, be sure to watch this video. Hi, my name is Patty. Thanks for clicking on my channel, Winning at Weight Loss. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This week on the scale, I lost one-tenth of a pound, so that brings me up to a 121.1 pounds loss so far, and it is 59.9 pounds away from my weight loss goal of losing 181 pounds. It was just a little slower this week. I did, I have a couple of meals, uh, had a little bit more salty foods like ham and and went out to dinner the one day. Some of, sometimes those salty foods will um, make you lose less weight. So and I find that as I've gotten older, it's kind of harder to lose weight uh, consistently as it was when I was younger. And it made me think, it's like, what kind of things could I do maybe to, to help me boost it up, boost up the weight loss? So I thought what I would do is share them with you. The thing, the thing about losing weight when you're older is your higher your metabolism is you burn more uh, fat. So you lose, tend to lose weight faster and when you get older there's some factors that may happen that causes you not to lose weight as fast as you would like. But there are some things you can do to counteract that loss of metabolism and that's what I'm going to share with you. So what I came up with, uh, one of the most important things in increasing your metabolism is the kinds of food you eat. So eating more protein foods, uh, the protein has been proven to burn 30% faster than any other food. So that will naturally increase your metabolism. So if you eat more food that is, is a protein based, uh, uh, beef, lean beef, lean chicken, uh, those kind of things that, and beans and kind of concentrating on those lower point foods that Weight Watchers offers will help you increase your metabolism and therefore lose weight. Besides that, keeping eating more protein keeps you fuller longer so it makes you uh, not want to nibble and snack and it's just a, a good thing to do really at any age is to base your diet around healthy proteins. Now another uh, tip is to eat new food that is nutritionally dense, like food such as salmon and avocados. Those have healthy fats that are, every, every ounce is filled with nutritional value. Fruits like strawberries and blueberries are also nutritionally dense. Then you have leafy green vegetables like spinach or kale or broccoli. Those things are really good to um, include in your diet. Whole grains such as wheat or barley, those, those types of foods will be nutritionally higher and will keep that metabolism going. And then another thing is just logically is to control the portions of your food. Don't overeat. Uh, you measure your foods, measure your portions. I'll put a link up above and below so you could uh, on a video that I made on how to make portion control a little bit easier and check that out and I, sometimes it's hard to control those portions but using some of those guidelines may help you uh, do a little bit better. So I'll include those. Make sure when you're older to get enough sleep. Uh, I know when you're younger, it's, you seem like you can operate on a lower uh, amount of hours of sleep. But once you get hit that over 50, you need more sleep and it will help you have more energy to, to get exercise done, move more, and just uh, make yourself all around metabolism work harder. Um, probably one of the most important things in being older and trying to lose weight is to do exercises for strength and flexibility. It's not all about the cardio, it's about building muscles. You can use weights, uh, you can use resistance bands to uh, build the uh, muscles and it just makes you more stronger. 
there's different kinds of weights you can use you can use weights on your ankles to walk when you're walking because walking is an all-around good sport but if you're adding some weights to it or weights to your arms you'll build up muscles in your arms and it will cause your metabolism to get higher and it's just like an endless circle you exercise better your you're gonna your metabolism is going to to get higher and then you're gonna lose weight it's just the opposite if you don't do the, the strength training and you don't eat well and it, you're just not gonna lose weight as fast and it's a circle of bad health habits for the older crowd keeping your muscle mass high is so important when you get older because the, uh, not only will it uh, it's it's got so many benefits besides just losing weight some other benefits of being flexible and strength training uh, not only will it help you build, boost your metabolism so you lose more weight it'll improve your balance your coordination and really you will have less risk of injury as you enter those older years just uh, work out with some weights it doesn't have to be every day twice a week maybe work on some repetitions of working with some different size weights and build up your strength and you'll see a difference in your weight loss when things tend to uh, not work as well as they used to so I just thought I'd offer some of those tips to maybe uh, that you would like to consider and help you in losing weight if you are over 50 uh, so I hope you uh, like those and if you have any other tips that you could comment below on what you do to keep fit after 50 or stay in, in a weight loss zone when you're over 50 or 60. I would appreciate any input you have. I like to read the comments and it, it just uh, it's interesting to see how other people see that. So you can comment below. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Remember, we're here to eat healthy, get fit, and be well. This is Patty, and I'm winning at weight loss. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!